Hi, Andy here from 40k Bunker, hashtag I paint yellow fists. Today I want to show you how to paint some imperial fists. Now this is a basic guide, it's nothing fancy, I'm no Duncan Rhodes or Sonic Sledgehammer, but it will give you a good looking imperial fist force. Now, if everyone's ready, let's start. Okay so today what we're going to need is a primed figure to help blast this one. I've um, sprayed in with some Corax white and that's your uh, undercoat. Now you want a nice smooth kind of tone all over the figure. The things we're going to be using, you've got your, your yellow, that's your main kind of uh, colour for today. You've got some Dawnstone, some Evil Scarlet Red, some Mornfang, Mornfang Brown, that's for your pouches and bits and pieces like that. You've got some black, some white and some Ulthran Grey. I'm also going to be using some Agrax Earthshade, some Draconoff Nightshade, and some Nun Oil. Right, another thing really important, especially when you're painting bright colours like yellow, is clean water. So make sure you've got yourself a glass or whatever you're using of nice clean water. Okay, so we're going to take our prime figure and get some Uriel Yellow, give it a good shake. Now one up. Now I'm going to use a large brush for this. A bit of uh, paint on my palette. Get water down. And I'm going to quite gently paint this across all of the areas I want to have yellow. Now I'm not going to be the tidiest with this because we're going to go over some of the model with other bits and pieces. What we're going to end up with is a smooth yellow finish for the entirety, pretty much the entirety of the whole model. Now, it might take two coats, so bear in mind you might want to uh, say have two, maybe three thin coats of this Uriel yellow, and then uh, you'll have a solidly yellow Space Marine, which we can then work on for our next step. All right, so now we've uh, completely painted our guy yellow. What we're going to do is get some Evil Skun Scarlet. Give that a good shake. We're going to pick out the trim and the chest eagle. So, a bit of that on my palette. Again, a bit of water in there. What I'm going to do is just use the side of the brush. To pick up this trim. Now, don't worry about being too messy here. Obviously, the less you overspill, the easier it's going to be later on. But it's not the hardest thing in the world to correct any issues we have at this stage. Oh, a little bit of that missed. Flowing through. Almost done with this. Pick out his chest eagle. A bit too much on there. Let's brown like that. And there's the, the red done. Once we're done with that, we we'll get dry. We'll move on to the next stage, which is put some washes on. All right, next stage, what we need to do is get some um, of the pouches all done, and the purity seals and other bits and pieces that we do before um, we apply some washes. So I've got my Mornfang Brown. I do with that. So I'm just gonna coat, cover the um, pouches on his belt. Nice. You don't have to make too worry about doing too neat on this. Again, the less mistakes you make, the easier do you make it for yourself. And all 
behind there. Some ones at the front here. I wonder what uh, Marines carry in all these little pouches. I mean, what does a Space Marine ever really need? You need your bolt gun and your magazines. What are these little pouches for? Little bobbins he collects? Some Jenga jam in there? Who knows? No. One of the little pouch and I don't know what this circular thing in what it is, but uh, I'm going to paint it brown. So with that then done, move on to purity seals and um, all your other little bits and pieces of malware. I'm going to get a white type for that. It's a bit globby. It takes some mixing here. That's nice. Everyone else have issues with their whites? Games Workshop white. Never been a fan. I mean, this, what is this? It's like milk. Blah. Uh, surprisingly, this guy's got no purity seals, so that's a fail. You don't need that just yet. Have you got any print purity seals on there? Just get them white. Um, next job. Oh, he's got some of his gun. Thanks, more. Miss purity seals on them. They're already white, so not that much of a drama. I didn't need to do that. I could have left them uh, as they were. Next thing we need to do is get... I I like to use a lot of greys. I don't use much in the way of metallics. Now it's up to you what you want to do with this. Um, but I say my preference is I use a, a Dawnstone. Now you can try this. Um, put your metallics over the top and see what you think. What I want to do with this, again watering it down. I'm going to get a nice base of the entire gun. I'll avoid the purity seals because again I wanted them white so I'll leave them white. Fill that in there. These gun nobbins. Don't ever forget the little handle underneath his fist. We always do. And the gun barrel's in there. And you have the argument about drilling out gun barrels. I've done this guy, but it's, uh, it's definitely a center. Half the problem with drilling out your gun barrels. I always score it out with a knife, but uh, I guess my eye isn't as good as it used to be. Alright, so that's this gun. I'm pretty happy with that. The rest of the casing I'm actually going to paint um, black, so I'm not too bothered about missing that effectively. Other little bits to do now is some greys. So what I'm going to do is all the pipe joiny bits in his armour, so I'm just going to go over them with my Dawnstone. Get all them filled in. Any little joints and gaps in the armour until we get to this point. That is when I got prepared earlier. And what I have done with him is I've painted the entire gun barrel and the casing with the Dawnstone. You can see the purity seal I've topped with our, um, our red. Um, casings are all brown as we've done before. And this guy's now ready for washing. Okay, so now we've done all our reds and our uh, yellows. We've filled out all the kind of block kind of colours we're doing. What we're going to do is get our Agrax uh, shade and we're going to pin wash around all the uh, kind of recesses in the armour. Now this is probably 
the bit that's going to take you the longest. And again, like always, don't worry about going a, you know, too far over. You're going to make mistakes, but they're all correctable, they're all fixable. What we're going to do is just get a little bit of wash on a little brush and just dab it into the recesses of the armour where you want it to kind of um, break up the armour, give it some definition and make it look interesting. And see, I just go around the arms, look at all the uh, you know, arm bands he's got going on there in his armour. Um, I'll do some on his face. What I like to do at this stage is just go over the eyes, eye lens. Just give that some definition for later on. One little stroke down the side of his helmet. And try and get into these little grooves in his mask, helmet, grills, whatever they are. Just to uh, accentuate them. There's little bits on his face, because most of the time people are looking at a model's face. You try and make a model's face look good, not too worried about the rest of it. So we carry on with that until we've done it all. So you've got around the edges of the shoulder pads, all these little joints in the armour, around the scoops in the knee pad, and the backs of the legs. And when you're done with all that, you should end up the model that's actually recessed like that. Now I've started tidying this up already. Um, I'll show you in a second what we're doing with that. But you can see the detailing there. He's actually started to come together. It's starting to look more like a marine. Right, now, to tidy up. Now this is the this is the real point of this. Um, you can see what we're doing with the yellow, apart from the wash, is nothing. So where you have made mistakes, what we need to do is we need to get a light enough color to put as a base coat for our yellow to go back on top of. So I've got Ultra and Grey. And what I'm gonna do with that is a really lovely thick kind of paint that covers lovely over yellow. And it's very, very close to your um, Corax White spray. Now any mistakes you have made, I've already covered these up, just go over with the, with the Ultra and Grey. And you can tidy up any of your mistakes you've made. So once you have lightened up all those areas, you can see these little white, whitish patches. I'm going to get your your yellow back out. And we're just going to touch up, being pretty careful with this one. So say we've uh, we've made the mistakes. We're trying to cover them up. Let's not try and make more mistakes. And that'll then quite nicely blend with our original base coat. Should give this a pretty solid base for um, for our fist. We'll just keep going with that until uh, done all those bits and on to the next step. All right, so now we've kind of tidied up our mistakes. We're looking pretty solid, but what we need to do is get these uh, ammo packs and pistol holster and his gun looking a bit better. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get my non oil, I'm going to paint that all over the gun, a nice big coat. Now again we've just tied it up so I'm going to be real careful how I apply this. I mean and again any mistakes we'll just tidy up as we did in the previous step. Nice coat of non oil all over that Dawnstone. See that kind of really brings down the uh, Dawnstone there, makes it a real nice dark grey. Then we're our little ammo pouches. We get our Agrax Earth Shade out. Oh, disaster happened. What we're going to do with these is we're just going to paint them with our brown wash. Just give them a little bit of interest. Now I'm not aiming for anything too fancy here. It does, I say, darken that down. We're also going to hit this purity seal. I've already started anyway. I'll say just a little dab at the top just to get the red. 
and the rest of it. Just make it a little bit more papery. Definitely a bit more interesting. And the last bit of washing we're going to do is his eyes. So I use Drakenoff Nightshade for this. Um, it's a definite cheat. You could get in there with uh, whatever you want, but I find a little brush, a tiny bit of Drakenoff Nightshade. What you can do is just dab that in. And all that does coats goes to the edges of the uh, the eye lenses. Just gives them a little bit more interest and gives them a little bit of a different tone. Um, and that's as simple as I, I'm doing these eyes. All right, now I'm gonna get our uh, oh well, black wash is dried on the gun and everything else. I'm gonna get the casing painted in black. down our paints and just gonna run that nice and thinly across what I think is the gun casing I think that's always open to interpretation here everyone seems to do them slightly differently I like to do my casings black a lot of people do the red I've seen some yellow ones on fists looks interesting but quite like the traditional black Get that all on there. To our next step, we actually do some highlights. So what we're going to do to highlight the yellow is we're going to get our yellow out. And we're going to get this white. Now let's hope it's not milky anymore. I've given it a really good shake, and it's looking a bit better. So um, fingers crossed. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make about a 50-50 mix. So a bit of yellow, a bit of white. I'm actually not happy with that, so I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. This is a highlight after all. Um, I'm only interested in doing one pass of a highlight, so that's looking pretty good for me. I think... Games Workshop do sell kind of color very similar to this mix, but I'm happy to just mix every time, so that's what I get. So I've got my um, I've got my detail brush out. Now I've done most of the highlights on this guy, um, just passing across the erased areas. I'm just going to do some bits at the back of the uh, backpack, just to kind of show what I'm doing. Now using the side of the brush, I'm just going to run that across the edge. All the way around, like so. Maybe I'll do the ridge over the backpack there. Just using that fine brush just to get in that gap, so uh, just makes my life a little bit easier with the highlight. Do a little bit more to the other side. And it runs around. So that's our uh, that's our highlights done. Um, our gun's actually, bottle gun's drying now, so we might quickly just run the highlight quickly over that. Now what I'm going to use is back to my Ultran Grey. This is a fantastic colour. Now what I'm going to do that, I'm actually going to use a big brush. A bit of that on my brush. Now I'm not going to quite dry brush this, you see my paint is a bit wet. I'm going to take most of it off there. And I'm just going to run that across the top edge of the gun. Just to accentuate those light bits. And what I'll do with that swell is I'll just get the tips of the grey that I've washed. Now, it may not be as fancy as a, a metallic paint, but I'm quite happy with the effect. I got quite used to it, so... um. That's what I'm using now. Another pass on the other side, just get these highlights done. And that's our bowl gun. Alright, your final step then will be basing your model, um, putting your transfers on. Um, base obviously have you to your flavour, whatever you're going for your bases. 
Obviously I've just gone for brown and a bit of grass on mine, a little bit of slate. Obviously transfers applied. Um, we struggle to get black um, black transfers at the moment, so I've hand painted most of my um, symbols on the side of my uh, marines. And there you have it. It's uh, how I would paint Imperial Fists. I hope you enjoy. Well, I hope you enjoyed and that's useful for you. If you've got any um, comments, please drop them below. Um, welcome to any feedback or answer any questions you, you've got for the process. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, if anyone wants any more of these, please let us know and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Thank you and goodbye. Is this still going? Yeah. <laughs> well, um, fucking fraud on my phone.